Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining our team at the Center for Open Science for this inaugural installment of our supporter engagement series, Enabling Research Innovation. My name is Terry Four. I'm the Director of Development here at COS, and I'll be with you throughout today's program. I'd like to start by asking you to consider the following. When you think of scientific research, what does the concept of credibility mean to you? Another way to imagine this question is, to what extent do you think trustworthiness should be a goal in research? By its very nature, scholarship is a collaborative undertaking. The ability of a researcher or research team to practice good scholarship depends on their faith that other researchers have been truthful with their data collection, reasonable with their analyses, and circumspect with their interpretations. Beyond the academic realm, both public policymakers and stakeholders in private enterprise trust that the outcomes of scientific research have been generated according to certain standards, standards which ultimately intend to produce knowledge that represents our world as accurately as possible. It is for this reason that uh, the notion of open science or open research is so crucial. Open science involves many concepts, methods, techniques, and indeed goals. COS was founded 11 years ago in the wake of what has come to be known as the reproducibility crisis in the field of psychology. Since that time, our primary goal has been to improve the process of scientific research, and we work to do so in part by enabling and advocating for the research practices that serve as the foundations of replication and reproduction. Our belief is that more credible, trustworthy research results are made possible by more transparent and reproducible research practices and processes. And we're here to help researchers put those into action. Despite research misconduct making headlines uh, with uncomfortable frequency recently, at the Center for Open Science, we operate under the assumption that as our board chair, George Banks stated in the opening video you just watched, most researchers are honest researchers who are trying to do the right thing. The pressing challenge we at COS perceive and are working to address is that these honest researchers work within a professional system that rewards positive, publishable, prestigious research results rather than, and too often at the expense of the integrity of the process that produces those results in the first place. This emphasis on process is partly what distinguishes us from other open science reformers. You're likely to hear the phrase life cycle open science more than once today. This term reflects our belief that research should and can most often be conducted transparently and collaboratively throughout the research life cycle. Today's program is focused on technologies that empower researchers to do just that, particularly our open science framework an open source research management and collaboration platform that facilitates open science techniques like pre-registration, hosts preprints, serves as an open data repository, and much more. I'm very glad that you've joined us today, and I look forward to spending part of your day with you. I'm excited to offer you more on how COS provides researchers with the tools and resources they need to put open science into practice and indeed how we co-create many of these tools with our partners. Moreover, I'm thrilled to bring you some perspectives from researchers themselves on how COS enables more transparent, more collaborative science. Whether you're a researcher yourself, a research support professional, a policymaker or funder of science, or someone who is just interested in making science more efficient and effective and better for society, we're glad you're here. Finally, uh, as, a, as a final note, as head of fundraising at COS, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't share that as a nonprofit organization based in the United States, we rely on many different financial forms of support to continue serving the global scientific community. I hope what you learned today will inspire you to contribute to us, either with a personal donation or through your institution. We'll have more information available throughout the event today, as well as in our post-event communication. In any case, I hope you come away from our time together informed and inspired and with a better understanding of the important role that COS plays in transforming scholarship for the better.